Too Darn Hot was an undefeated champion at two, and he topped the rankings again at three. While supported by Darley, where he stands, and by his owners, Watership Down Stud, Too Darn Hot will be represented by his first yearlings at the upcoming Arcana August yearling sale. We spoke with a few American breeders about why they chose to breed to the son of Dubawi. Too Darn Hot was a brilliant two-year-old. He was undefeated at two, showed a lot of precocity, being, and he was champion two-year-old. Carried on his class and ability as a three-year-old. He had great acceleration, which we need in American racing. He had very good tactical speed. You could put him anywhere in a race. I liked him so much. I was, I was, you know, kind of followed him very closely from the from his first race on, uh, because you know we're close friends with the Lloyd Webbers and with Simon Marsh. So uh, he was a horse I was particularly paying attention to and. Uh, you know, being an undefeated two-year-old, a grade one winner at two, uh, then going on and winning two grade ones at three, being a champion at two, a champion at three. Uh, with his pedigree, it's just, you know, he really uh, checked so many boxes for, and we actually bought a breeding right in him when he retired. So that's how much we thought of him. We just, we did rarely ever do that with the European stallion. One of the mares that we sent that has the yearling this year is Smart Change, and she comes from an American family of ours, one of our top families without parole, who also is a half-brother to Tamara Coos, who was a Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile winner. And so we ourselves have bred mares that could potentially be crossover mares, where they might, their progeny might perform on dirt or turf, which is something that we as a, as a farm like to do. We like to, to try to breed to some crossover stallions. And so with the speed that people like to see in the American market, I think that could translate very well. Too Darn Hot is very like Kingman. Brilliant speed, brilliant acceleration, fast ground horses. And I'm hoping he's the next Kingman that we can go over there and afford to buy some of them and continue to breed to him. He's a magnificent looking horse, beautiful quality, great shape, oozes presence and class. I'm upset with myself that I didn't breed to him in his first year. I was asleep at the wheel. I bred two mares to him in his second year, and I understand his foals are very, very nice, much like, very much like him. Ones I've seen are look a lot like him. They're they're very typey, you know, very attractive, very attractive heads, and very correct. I would say that uh, of the two yearlings that we have this year, I recently saw them in Newmarket and I was impressed by both of them. I thought they were really athletic individuals. And Too Darn Hot himself was a very athletic type when we went to see him at stud. I've since seen him again after he's had a year of covering and he is also, you know, he's, he's blossomed and fleshed out and he looks very well and also again like his father. So the two yearlings that we have bred so far, I just think the athleticism and the sort of Dubawi character that are coming through are quite interesting and give us a lot of hope that Tudarn Hot could follow in the footsteps of his father, Dubawi, which would be very exciting. <laughs> He's a very well-conformed horse. It's just over 16 hands, and uh, I've seen him, I saw him actually a month ago at, at Dome, and he just looked spectacular. He's he really let down into a beautiful horse. Really nice, medium-sized stallion, and um, so, I can't say enough good things about him. He really, uh, and I think admitting that we bought a breeding right uh, tells you how much I think of him. I think he's one of the most exciting young stallions in the world, not just Europe. He's beautifully bred. He's got a tremendous race record. He has every qualification that you would look for in a young horse. I, I think the sky's the limit for him. And I have every confidence and belief in the world that he will pass on his courage, his ability, his desire to compete to his offspring, like the other sons of Dubawi have done already. Mm -hmm.